Hi everyone, this is Sylvie here from the website sylviesoul.com. It's a website uh, designed specially for aspiring writers to give them the tips and tools that they need to reach their eventual goal of becoming a published author. Um, I'd like to give a little bit of backstory about who I am. Um, I'm a writer. Uh, as per my website, I have a podcast about writing that I update fairly occasionally. I haven't updated in a while. But also, um, I wanted to talk about my history of being a fan fiction writer. Before I started writing, I actually wrote fan fiction for 20 years. I have two decades worth of experience in fan fiction. And uh, now I want to go on to my next goal of actually publishing something that I wrote myself. My, my next goal is to publish a young adult novel. So while I still haven't reached that stage in my writing career, I still think with my 20 plus years of fan fiction experience, I can give some advice to any aspiring writers that are looking in the same direction. Um, so that's why I wanted to get on the camera today and touch upon three reasons why it might be a good idea to stop writing fan fiction if you're still doing it. So number one reason is it doesn't give a realistic view of what it takes to become an actual published author. Uh, when it comes to fan fiction, you could have an idea in the morning, you can go to work or go to school and write during the day and publish it, and then by the end of the day you can actually bask in the positive feedback that you might get from your adoring fans. So the real industry doesn't work like that. Actually things move very slowly in the publishing industry. Uh, on average it could take two years for a story to go from being sold to a publishing house to actually being published and on the shelf. So there's none of that instant gratification you might get with writing fan fiction. And also with writing fan fiction, you can write something, put it up, say, oh, I don't like that, go back, change it, and modify it as you, as you see fit with no consequences. With writing a novel, you have to have your perfect product right up to right out the gate because if you are trying to go the traditionally published route, you need to get a literary agent. And in order to procure a literary agent, you have to uh, query them. So you'd have to send them your, your best work so that they feel confident enough to represent you and find you the proper publisher for your work. If you send them a first or even a second draft of something with a lot of errors or structural problems, they're just gonna throw it in the trash. So you have to get into a different mindset if you want to be published. It's not the same as being a fan fiction writer. You have to, you have to go into it with a more uh, professional mindset. Number two reason that you should probably stop writing fan fiction is you've really narrowed your audience. I mean, it's all well and good if you're, let's say, a Harry Potter uh, fan fiction writer or a My Little Pony fan fi fiction writer, Steven Universe fan fiction writer. So let's say you want to write this big, sprawling, 50 chapter high school alternative universe epic on Bob Moran. I bet half of you don't even know that cartoon. Yeah, exactly. So you could be the best writer in the world, but if you're writing something that people aren't familiar with, they're not even gonna take a second glance at it. So, brief anecdote, um, I like to write crossover fan, or I did like to write crossover fan fiction, and I did get a lot of positive feedback from my work, but I was taking two very specific fandoms and crossing them together. So the only people that would have actually even bothered to read my fanfic are people that liked both properties that I crossed over. So yeah, you have to really think about how you're limiting yourself if you write fanfiction. And also that kind of loops into the third idea or the third reason why you should stop writing fanfiction. And that's because you don't own it. You can never sell what you write. You're taking the intellectual property of other people in order to write your stories. And again, you could be the best writer in the world. You can make amazing fan fiction, but legally you won't be able to sell that work because it doesn't belong to you. In fact, there are some creators and some authors out there who are adamantly against people writing about their work and will 
threaten legal action. So as an aspiring writer, once you get it into your mind that you'd like to not only share your work, but actually sell your work, uh, make money off your work, then you need to have your own original ideas. And that's the biggest reason why you should stop writing fan fiction and start writing your own work. If you need advice or help on how to make that transition, you can go to my website, uh, sylviesoul.com. I write regularly on my blog and I also have a newsletter, so I'm constantly giving advice and help. If you want to email me directly, you can email me at info at sylviesoul.com. Also, you could follow me on Twitter at sylvesoul, S-Y-L-V, soul writer on Twitter. So that's all I have to say for now. I hope this advice is helpful, and until next time, bye.